What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Star Wars Character Age Facts Part 9. That's right, I said Part 9. That means that there are 8 parts before this. If you'd like to check those out, I'll leave links to those in the description below. Now if you're watching this video, chances are you are a Star Wars fan and you probably also watched The Mandalorian. So with the release of The Mandalorian Season 2, I decided to do just a dedicated video to The Mandalorian. So if you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more from me, please remember to like, subscribe, and notifications for more. So starting off with our first Age Fact of the video, let's do our lead of the show, The Mandalorian. So our Mandalorian is actually named Din Djarin, and from the show, we know that Din was just a child during the Clone Wars. In the flashback that shows him being discovered by other Mandalorians, it's believed that he was somewhere between 8 to 11. However, Wikipedia has him being born at 27 BBY which means he would effectively be 27 around the time of A New Hope. And we know the Clone Wars ended with the rise of the Empire 19 years prior. And since the Clone Wars only lasted three years, that means that Din would have been more like five or eight in those flashbacks. Which makes more sense to me because not only does it fit better in the story, but also the actor who plays the younger Din looks younger, so it makes sense. Whatever the case, like I mentioned, Din was 27 at the time of A New Hope, and The Mandalorian Season 1 takes place near the end of 9 ABY. So this means our hero is 36 years old, which also means he's a year older than Kenobi was in Episode 2, and it also means that he's only 5 years younger than Boba Fett. Which to me is interesting because like in my head canon, I feel like Boba is like maybe like 10 or 15 years older than him, but he's only 5, so it's just like... It's crazy. Especially when you see him at the end of that one episode of Mando. Perhaps since he's a clone, his age has begun to rapidly increase compared to before. Nonetheless, that is pretty interesting. For our next one, we have everyone's favorite rebel, um, Cara Dune. Or her full name, Cara Cynthia Dune. There you go, that's a little FF for you. Little fun fact. Cara was born in 25 BBY, making her 34 in the first season of Mando which makes her four years older than Sabine and six years older than the great Luke Skywalker. So if Mando and Kara's ages didn't uh, blow your mind, hold on to your butts. For our next one, we have Grief Karga. Grief Karga is an old scoundrel. He's been in the game for years before finally deciding to take a more political position in his town on the planet of Navarro. Grief is portrayed by Carl Weathers, also known as Apollo Creed from the Rocky movies. Now, Weathers in real life is 72 years old, but his character Karga is actually 10 years younger at the age of 62. This makes him two years older than Obi-Wan would have been at the time had Obi-Wan survived. This also makes him two years older than Qui-Gon was in The Phantom Menace before the uh, Disney Age refresh. And it also makes him one year younger than Palpatine was in Revenge of the Sith. Okay, next one is Quill. Quill is our old Ugnon advisor who was portrayed as somewhat of a mentor to Mando. But how old was this Ugnon? I'll leave some answers on the screen. You guys decide. All right, are you ready? The answer is not 135. The answer is also not 92. So that leaves both 82 and 167. I'll give you some more time to kind of decide between those two. back if you chose the age 82 you are wrong that's right quill is 167 years old by the time of his death ugnaught's lifespan is usually around 200 years this means by human year standards quill is somewhere in his 80s by the time of his death and this may sound old but in comparison chewbacca our favorite walking carpet is still 42 years older than him still quill was a boss till the end and uh he'll never be forgotten I have spoken. Okay, for our next one, we're going to be doing Baby Yoda, or Grogu, or the child. Whatever you want to call him, you guys knew I'm talking about. So we all know that the child is 50 years old, but what are the implications of that? For instance, if we were to compare Yoda species to our own, if 900 years is something like 90 years to us, that would equate 50 years for their species to five years for us. So would that make Baby Yoda a five-year-old to us? pretty interesting to think about. 
But one of the craziest things to me is that Baby Yoda has essentially lived through all the films so far, meaning he was 42 in A New Hope, 23 years old during The Revenge of the Sith, and 10 years old during The Phantom Menace. This also means that Baby Yoda and Darth Vader are the exact same age. And from that, you could theorize if they are the same age, maybe Anakin Skywalker wasn't the true chosen one. Maybe it was Baby Yoda. Mine, blown. So there you go guys, that is part 9 of Star Wars Character Age Facts. If you want to see more, please want to like, subscribe, and turn notifications for more. If you have any cool age facts of your own, let me know in the comments below or in the Net Alliance Discord. I'll leave links to that in the description below. But thanks again for watching guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace. There was once a squad of ten Jedi sent to destroy an uprising, an infection, a zombie outbreak. Though they didn't know what stood before them, they stood valiantly until the rest of the army could arrive. This is their story.
In the end, while our heroes did not survive, their legend lived on, and soon a hundred Jedi took their place to finally end the zombie scourge.